Hey guys, welcome to Dr. CyberLogic. This is Chris, and today's video is going to be about setting up the IQ software with the Corsair Hydro X Custom Water Loop. So please subscribe and thank you for your support. When you first start up, you're going to notice your LED is not working properly, the fans and the pump not going the correct speeds. So this is going to have to be set up in the IQ software. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So when you first open up the IQ software, what you want to do is uh, select Commander Pro. And then as you can see, all your fans are here. The pump was pump number six. So double click on that, just change that to pump. If you want to change these to front fan, one front fan two, rear fan, whatever you want to do, you can do it the same way. And then you can see your water temp is showing over here. The water temperature sensor should have been plugged into the first sensor port. Now you see there's only quiet, balanced, and extreme. So that's all you can select if you want to put everything on extreme. But there's no specific settings for the command for the Hydro X system. So what you're going to do is come down here and go to lighting setting setup. And you see under lighting channel it says no device connected. So I connected my Hydro X to lighting channel 1. Those are the slots. So you have lighting channel 1 and 2 for the LED slots when I went over the review and the wiring. So I have the Hydro X plugged into lighting channel 1. So I'm going to select lighting channels 1 for Hydro X series. Then over here, just select what you have. If I change everything to none, now watch. If I select one GPU block, it's not going to let me select anything else because that's the beginning of the daisy chain. So there's no connector on that to go to somewhere else. So you're going to select the CPU block last. So I have one GPU block and I have one pump reservoir combo and then select the GPU, the CPU block last. Now lighting channel 2, I have my LL RGB series fan, so I'm going to put that there with four fans. So now all my LED lights should be working. But by setting this up in the lighting channel, lighting setup, when you go back to performance, you're going to have these Hydro X series fans and pumps included now under the, the um, settings. So for the fans, select Hydro X series fans and then just click on all the fans. And do the same thing for pump, select Hydro X series pump and then click on the pump. Now I don't know if you could hear that in the video, but when I did that, it's going by water temperature now. So since I did that, it decreased all the fans and lowered the uh, pump speed according to the water temp. Now once that water temperature starts to rise, it's going to increase the pump speed and increase the fan to get rid of the excess heat. And that is it. So that's how you set up the Commander Pro to work with the uh, Hydro X system and the IQ software. So that is how you set up the IQ software with the Hydro X custom water cooling system. Now if you do have an issue where you select the presets for like the Hydro X pump and the Hydro X fans but nothing changes, it's still running at a constant uh, fan speed, which happened to me when I first tried setting up the software. What you have to do is completely uninstall IQ software and then reinstall it. After you do that, it will start working again for you. So if anybody has that issue and can't get the pump speed to increase past, like what I had, it wouldn't increase past 1600 RPMs, then uh, remove that software, uninstall it, and then reinstall it, and it should start working after that. Well, thank you for your support. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions for future videos, please leave a message in the comments and please subscribe. I really enjoy making these videos and I want to keep making them and when I see people subscribing and viewing, it really makes me want to make more videos and I appreciate the support. Thank you guys and have a great day.